Today, Guadans, how are you today? I am teacher Nika and I will be your MAPE teacher. In this lesson, you will learn the importance of lines in creating an illusion of depth and volume. You will have a deeper understanding about lines, shape, and space and how to use them to make your own artwork look three-dimensional. Shading techniques using line Hatching, cross-hatching, and scribbling are the different shading techniques that using lines. These techniques are valuable tools for creating value and texture in drawing. Usually, they are made using pencil and pen to create simple lines in various arrangements and densities. Different shading techniques Hatching It is the basic shading technique. It is also an effective way to show light and dark values in a drawing. It consists of fine parallel lines placed closely together. Hatching is used in a drawing to show the area that light does not heat and should therefore appear darker or covered with the shadow. For this reason, it is important to determine where the light source will come from before you start shading. Cross Hatching it is a technique which shows intersecting lines. After laying down one pass of hatch marks, another set of hatch marks are down on top in the opposite direction. This method is one of the quickest and most effective ways to vary density and darken the values in your hatching. Scribble Hatching It is a technique in drawing lines that shows overlapping circles, squiggles, or twisted lines. This creates a rough, loose, organic texture. There are ways to stimulate a three-dimensional effect using these drawing techniques. These include decreasing and increasing the pressure on the pencil, using a different value of pencil, repetition of lines and overworking, Overworking is a technique that making more lines on area that should appear darker. Shapes Shapes are closed figures that are two-dimensional. They only have length and width. The examples of shapes are rectangle, circle, nonagon, oval, pentagon, and hexagon. Shapes can be categorized as a regular and irregular. The shape is regular if the shape is definite like geometric shapes. The shape is irregular if it's not definite like organic shapes. Organic shapes are the shapes of objects in nature like clouds and leaves. Shapes can be also a three-dimensional figure. A three-dimensional figure has length, width, and height. The cube, cylinder, Cone and spear are examples of forms that have volume and mass. A cube has six equal sides. A wood block is an example of a cube. A cylinder has one surface and two circular ends. It looks like a can. A cone has one circular face and a sharp point at the other end. It resembles a party hat. A spear resembles the shape of a round ball. Space is an element of art that refers to the distance and area between, around, above, below, or within things. Distance is how far or near an object in an artwork is from the viewer. It is shown in the foreground, middle ground, and background. Foreground It is the part of the composition closest to the viewer. It is the bottom section of a drawing. Objects in this area are larger and more detailed. Middle ground. It is the part of the composition between the foreground and the background. This is often where the main action takes place. Objects in this area look smaller than foreground objects are often placed partially behind them. It is the part of the composition which is farthest from the viewer. It is the top section of the painting. The objects here appear the smallest compared to the objects in the foreground and middle ground. The area is the surface included within a set of lines. 
The artist provides an area for a particular purpose. There is positive space and there is negative space. The positive space refers to the main focus of a picture called subject, while the negative space refers to the background or the space that surrounds the subject. And that's the end of our video lesson. Thank you, Guadan!